morning everybody it is currently tuesday morning it is 9 20. i woke up really late so this morning the plans are i'm just gonna settle down have some coffee have cozy morning time i need to catch up with some emails i need to go through that so i'm gonna do that while i drink my coffee and then um i figured i would kind of get ready with you guys so let's um let's have our morning coffee shall we i'm sure a lot of us are having our wednesday morning coffee together which i think is the best so cheers if you're having your morning coffee or any morning beverage really i should say all right guys welcome to my bathroom so i've had my morning coffee i'm good to go i'm coming in because i need to brush my teeth <laughs> and i also want to whiten my teeth i get a lot of questions on how i keep my teeth white whitening them safely is really how i do it and um if there's a little bit of an echo because i'm hearing that sorry about that it's the bathroom but i wanted to share a toothbrush with you guys that i have been using so this is called a shine this is the travel case that it arrives and this is actually the box that it arrives and i saved this just to show you guys um but i've been using it for about a week now and i love it so this is what the travel case looks like. Your toothbrush comes inside, you have your base, and then we have the head. First of all, I love that an electric toothbrush comes in a travel case, that's very nice. And basically you just pop it on here, just like that. And you have all these different settings, you hit on, and then you have the intensity that you can change it to. And you have modes, clean, white, sensitive, and massage. Now I know with an oral toothbrush, which I have not used an oral toothbrush in a very long time, because number one, you can brush too hard and you can harm your teeth. And number two, I just don't think it does as good as a job as an electric toothbrush. So I've been using this, I love it. The bristles don't fall out, which is a big thing for me. I cannot stand when the bristles on a toothbrush come out. And I do have a discount code for you guys, so I'll write that across the screen and I will link it down below. Um, so you guys can check out the site if you're interested. You can get 20%. So I am gonna brush my teeth now and then I'll show you guys these strips and how I whiten them. Now the way that the whitening strips work is you wear them twice a day for seven days. And you know I drink a lot of coffee. Well, it helps remove a lot of the stains that you would get from drinking coffee, juice, tea, whatever, whatever beverages make your teeth not, not pearly white. So. Also, I have it on the sensitive mode because I have sensitive teeth. sleek and it's beautiful. Also, it does come with a charger. You do have to charge it for 16 hours before using it. It lights up when you charge it. I always leave these little twisty ties on my cord just because I don't like long cords running across my vanity sink. So I leave it like this, plug it in, and then you would pop it right in. It stands on its own, does its own thing, charges, you're good to go. Next, we're gonna move on to whitening. Whitening your teeth is super important. There's not many whitening strips, well, the ones that I've used in the past that you can use safely back to back so um these you can twice a day for seven days it's like a regimen and they are custom fit so if you have smaller teeth you can trim them down and then so you would just tear it open like this and these are for upper teeth and lower teeth i also just like my personal preference i don't like to eat or drink anything um for like an hour after i use these you're gonna peel it off so you're just gonna line that on your own teeth. And these ones are kinda long, which again, custom, you can cut them. All right, I will say though, they don't stick as well as I would like to in the beginning. So you have to keep kinda like holding them down until they really adhere to your teeth. Um, but now they're fine, they're on. We leave this on for 30 minutes and then we are going to take it off. Shine is a customizable toothbrush box. So I'm just gonna scroll through the site. So no two mouths are the same. So use a toothbrush that is built for you. Choose between three types of brush heads to deliver results you can see from ear to ear. So let's just go for example and hit shop now just to see our options. So the Shine Sonic Toothbrush 
Originally $100, it is on sale for $45. You guys can get my 20% off discount code using Mindy20. And then you have the option to choose uh, Cloud White or Midnight Black. And then you have the three brush heads. You can get Whitening, Anti-Plaque, or Gum Care. You can have a quarterly subscription box, or you can do a one-time purchase. Actually, while I'm whitening my teeth, it'll be the perfect time to fix my hair. So I figured I would show you guys how I have been doing that lately. So I've been doing like a middle part. If I am going to wear my hair wavy, and I did this a few days ago and I absolutely loved it. So this is my second, second, second <laughs> attempt at wavy hair. So I'm going to do it with you guys, show you guys how I did it. So I've got our wand. I... <laughs> Funny side note, I have no idea how to use a regular curling wand or curling iron. I'll be honest, if I use one that has like that little jaw thing, I end up with massive kinks in my hair. So a wand works best for me. So we're just going to heat that up. And then literally all I do is section my hair into two parts. You know what's great about those whitening strips is because you do have to do it twice a day, morning and evening. For your morning, I mean, you could easily pop them on right before you hop in the shower. You can pop them on while you're doing your makeup and it's it's just, it's an easy thing to do. What I do is I section it. So I just split it, take little sections and I just alternate the wand. Hashtag be extremely careful. <laughs> be very careful. Um, so, for example, wow. We're literally just gonna wrap the hair around and then I leave like an inch of hair out so that the ends are kind of like straight so you have that beachy wavy effect and then I just leave it on for about 15 seconds or less probably about 10 seconds and there we have curl number one and then I just kind of let that sit there like that okay so this one we're gonna do front and the great thing about curling your hair like this is it really doesn't have to be precise. Just run with it, guys. Just run with it. <laughs> Touched my ear just a little bit. Okay, so now when it comes... Okay, let me redo that because I just burned myself and scared myself. So when it comes to the pieces of hair that are near your face, you always want to go away from your face. That is what I have learned. We are going to curl away from our face like that. Now the pieces of hair that are towards the front of my face like these, I'm gonna leave on a little bit, um, not longer, less time, just because this hair by your face is much more fragile. So we're done already, all done. Wad it up. And then we'll brush it out with our hands at the end. We don't wanna do it while our hair's still hot because we want that curl to hold. So now I'm just gonna do this side, let these pieces down, and we're gonna do the whole head, so. Here we go. All right, so now once you're done, your hair should look like this. And then the final step, what I do, is then I start to run my fingers very lightly because you don't want frizzy hair. You just want to kind of break up that curl so you have that beachy wavy effect, not such like a intense, precise curly effect. So let's just run our hands through like that. And then after you've run your hand, hands through your hair, you can always go back and fix a few, a few pieces. So. This is the side that's done. As you can see, I would like touch up that piece right there that I missed. So this is done once you run your fingers through it. And then this is the side that needs to be done. So huge difference. There we go. So now let's just touch up a few pieces. Hairspray time. All right, so that only took me 20 minutes to curl my hair. You guys probably can do it faster than I can because I'm not used to it yet, but we still have 10 minutes with the whitening strips, so. Okay, so hair and makeup done in 30 minutes, so it is time to take it off. It's like four minutes past 11.30, but here we go. Look how white that is. I mean, seriously, 
And I do not have lipstick on. I do have a gloss on, but no lipstick. So it's not making them appear whiter than they actually are. So yeah, if you guys want 20% off, definitely check out Shine. Use my code Mindy20 and let me know what you guys think if you order it. So okay guys, welcome to my very messy cabinet. It was once very organized and then it kind of escalated rather quickly into chaos. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like under Larry's side of the sink. So this is the washcloth that I use on my face. We have some products down here. You can see the bins where it was organized and now it is not. So let's go through it. Let's figure out what we're keeping and what we're not keeping and reorganize this section. Something about, something about, something about you. Anyways, got that stuck in my head. Some lush hair products in here. Shampoo bar. I don't know what he's good for. Oh man. I don't know. Oh, so it's great. And oh, it smells good. Okay, so the Yardley soaps. I have English lavender and oatmeal vanilla. Oatmeal, no. <laughs> oatmeal and almond. They smell so good. The only thing about them, because I used one of the bars that was oatmeal and almond. And it felt really moisturizing and it was great. And then I went to go rinse it off and my skin was like sticking. It was like really stripping and drying on my skin for some reason. Uh, but I'm still going to try the lavender one in maybe the bathtub, not my shower. I'm kind of like a shower gel kind of girl. Ow. And then more towels. How many washcloths could we have in one section? This is definitely a kitchen washcloth, not a bathroom washcloth. We have Larry Shaver, Peachy Soap, and then we have Champagne Apple and we have Bourbon for Larry. So these are our shower gels. Oh gosh. See, now we're getting into the nitty gritty where now it looks bad because everything was covered by the towels. This is like all the bath products, like shampoos and conditioners because I don't just use one usually I swap through them a lot and these are like extra shampoos and conditioners that I have that I would go back to eventually basket out in fact let's why don't we like can we like roll these little guys and make them fit in the basket and stand up straight that might be better let's take a look at that you guys know what I mean like roll them like this like a little spa oh they're not staying Maybe they'll stay when they're all shoved in there together. <laughs> Okay, we have a shampoo, so long damage, shampoo. This is a repair, something. So keep that one. Dirty spring wash, extra shampoo, or um, well, oh. But see, this is what I mean. Like, this is, this is almost empty. So why I felt it necessary to switch out soaps and put this one below, I don't know. Okay, and then Larry has another uh, massage thingy. A massage thingy. <laughs> no, a shaver thing. So we move that. Where's his other one? Where did I move it? What's happening? Okay. Oh my gosh. Don't tell the husband. Q-tips. We can find a new home for that. So we're going to put that next to the cute cotton balls. Um, oh, anti-yellowing shampoo. Brighten and nourish. Gray and silver hair. So this is from when I had blonde hair. So I don't really need this. So... We'll see what I'm going to do with that. This brush that I never use because it's so, like, killer. Killer brush. All right. Products. Here we have a bunch of random products. The Peppermint Aromatherapy. The aromatherapies are my favorite, so I'm going to save these. I have extra of those. Oh, my dry brush. Got this existed. It's a good find.
Okay, so finished with this side. So we have all of my face towels, washcloths, and then hanging towels to dry hands. Three of the shampoos and conditioners I am keeping. All of our body washes, one rubbing alcohol, the extra rubbing alcohol is back there. Q-tips, cotton balls, and then Larry's shavers. I found the other one, I was like sitting right behind it. And then we have a body wash that doesn't fit in there and a soap that doesn't fit. Plus, these soaps, we'll slide that one and that one. And uh, yeah, so that's much better. Makes me happy. Yay, accomplished, we are done with that. And now I'm just coming into the office for a second because I couldn't find this water and I put it in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really quick, I went in to show you guys the pants from the thrift store. I washed them up, I'll show you guys what they look like. So, these are the pants, and remember me saying they were an extra large and I didn't think they looked like an extra large? Yeah, they definitely don't fit like an extra large. Um, but yeah, these are them. I'm obsessed, I love them. They're very cozy and comfortable. They're low rise though, but it's all right. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Larry and I just got done filming a sit down video, and now I need to actually start editing. I need to get to work on this video, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget if you guys would like those electric toothbrushes and teeth whitening kits. I will link it down below. You guys can get 20% off using Mindy20. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we will see you again very soon. Bye! Bye.